My name's Paul Ratcliffe and I'm a production team leader. My job involves the supervision of production operatives within a um, production environment. My role uh, at shop floor level is to ensure that uh, the products we make, make meet um, the set standard and uh, we meet the set targets. What I enjoy about my work most is being able to give to people what I've had given to me before I took on the role. So it's nice to invest in people yourself and give them the opportunity to gain a few recognised qualifications and perhaps move on to be a production team leader or, or whatever they want, really. Uh, the company sent, started sending me to college, it would be four years ago, uh, to gain recognised qualifications in team leading. Going to college, I found very strange um, initially because I was in my late 30s when I embarked on this, and it's a long time from leaving school. Absolutely more focused than, than, than I ever was at school. Um, there, were, there was a real reason to get through this. I, whether you'd call it pride as much as anything else, I think it was a realisation that it was perhaps my last chance to do something other than um, be on the shop floor. What I was like at school, um, no real idea where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. More interested in sports than, than other subjects, shall we say. I hoped to get a trade, perhaps be an electrician, uh, following the footsteps of my father. Left school with only basic CSE qualifications and never really achieved that goal. I think it was an age thing and it, uh, it was immaturity and not realising that you needed to put the work in at that time. If I could go back, I'd go back and I'd do things differently. But uh, that's hindsight for you. When I left school, there was no real ambition, just to go out and start earning money. I started work. Uh, at that time, it was the Youth Opportunities Scheme, so it was a basic wage working for a local company. It was part of a uh, yard maintenance crew uh, for a local factory. It wasn't an interesting or exciting job, but um, it was a job nevertheless at that time. I then moved on to a refractory business, which is on the quarrying side of things. Um, I started work as a production operative and then I went working in the lab as a lab technician for five years. The reason I left a job I enjoyed as a lab technician uh, was purely financial. It was at a time in uh, our lives where we were trying for a family and the money I was earning at that time wasn't great although I enjoyed the job. Um, aggregate industries at that time were renowned for paying really well. Coming to aggregates um, in terms of the work I did, it seemed like a step back at that time. It was more manual work. I can't say that I enjoyed it too much initially. I was doing it for a specific reason, and, and that was uh, for my family. Not long after my daughter had been born, I was told I was going to be made redundant. That was quite trying at the time, but things fortunately worked out. The redundancy didn't happen. I was two days from leaving when I was told that uh, I'd had a reprieve and I could now stop. Where we'd be now if that hadn't happened, I don't know. Outside of work, uh, many interests, particularly in DIY. Um, I've restored a car recently, which is something I've always wanted to do from a young age. Um, so, a challenge. I I'm easily bored and I like to be doing something. Just over two years ago, I bought one of these as a non-runner. It was bad. Um, it was beaten, battered, it didn't run and really it was fit for scrapping and nothing else. So it was a challenge and um, 18 months later I brought it back to its original state. I've actually got the job now I've wanted for quite a few years. I've put the time in at college to get this job and I don't see any reason now why we can't move on perhaps further up the ladder. <laughs>